Confidence is one of the most uh, toughest things uh, to acquire when it comes uh, to having autism. I say this um, with complete confidence because I've had that uh, struggle too. Uh, you know, when I was younger, I, uh, I hardly have any confidence uh, at all, whether it be, you know, just, just uh, going to school or, you know, just uh, eating or, or bathing or anything like that. I just uh, feel like I just want to shut myself out and just, uh, you know, live in my room for the rest of my life. It was pretty, it was that bad. It was, uh, you know, confidence was an all-time low, especially when I knew that I was different, and even more so when I learned that I had autism. And uh, it's hard, I'll be completely honest, uh, completely honest with you. It's, uh, it's, it's hard to acquire and hard to build up those, uh, that confidence, you know, build up some more confidence though. So, so what do you do? Uh, what did I get do okay, when it comes to, to confidence? Well, uh, it took years and years uh, more uh, to uh, learn that, hey, you are different and, and you can do something about this. And there was a point where many people would say, what can I do? What can I do with this, uh, with this unique ability? What can I do uh, because I think differently or, or you know, even uh, draw things differently or just express myself differently? What can I do from that? Uh, you know, uh, well, that's uh, the whole thing where, where people, uh, they start to really be interested in people who have autism based on who they are as people whether it be the thinking process, whether it be, uh, whether it be learning something from them, or even uh, something with the entertainment part, whether it be like uh, art or work or, uh, or music or, or anything that they like to express themselves uh, as uh, through entertainment, education, and so much more. So, um, so we're uh, almost at that uh, point. Actually, I would say that uh, we are at that point where a lot of people are kind of curious about uh, autism and and not just uh, autism entirely but also individual okay, people who have uh, autism and when you know this um, when you know this when you know this uh, this fact that people are so interested in this then it can be um, a really good breakthrough in building up that confidence so you know, so when people uh, like you, when people uh, think that you're neat and they want to learn more about you, that, that makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you can be yourself and, and just you know, keep doing what, uh, what you like to do with good intentions. And, and once you learn about, uh, about uh, that, because this, uh, this process takes uh, quite a while to, uh, to acquire when it comes to, to confidence, is that you know, you, you know you're different, uh, you're free to express that with your parents or loved ones or, or teachers or anyone that uh, that you feel comfortable with. Uh, you feel free to just express your feelings, express your thoughts about, you know, hey, me being different and why am I so uh, different? And they will help you that, you know, hey, it's totally okay. People can learn from this. People can uh, learn that because uh, you're so different and to eventually shape the world for the thriving future. So to build up uh, confidence, it's okay to just um, it's okay to just practice that uh, at home, where you just decide to you know stand up sometimes uh, with your hands by your hips, and uh, you know stand up tall. Sometimes even uh, going uh, up like uh, this with your head, and said yes, I can do this, or I am Tyler McNamer, and uh, I will do something for the world, or or just. Uh, you know, hey, give you some self-motivation. It's, um, it's okay if you just do it by yourself because, hey, you're the only one in the room that, that can do this. Say, if you want, you can do it with your, with your parents, but probably not uh, appropriate when doing this stuff in social areas. It's just one of those, just one of those things where you just gotta build your self-confidence um, up uh, in private uh, little areas. And once you do this, you know, okay, whether you do it daily or weekly, uh, you know, just uh, staying up tall, knowing, uh, learning how to breathe slowly, and and just to learn how to get into a state of uh, mind. Then, then that kind of positivity of of knowing that uh, you're different, and knowing that it's okay to uh, to feel this way. It's okay to uh, to you know express the way that you express, and and most importantly. That you're having fun with it, that you're having fun with your experience, whether it be yeah, dancing uh, the way you want to do it, or, or especially celebrating those little victories that you have, because to be quite honest with you, there's, 
uh, there's so much uh, things to celebrate every single day, whether it be, whether it be uh, going to school or going to events or going to a family gathering or, or anything like that. So, you know, celebrate those moments where you feel like you're a part of something, when you feel like you're, uh, you're accepted by, uh, by others, where you feel like uh, that nothing can slow you down. It's just, uh, just the whole attitude of just going for it, just do it. And once you uh, learn, uh, once you learn that, once you learn how to reflect all those uh, victories, once you learn how to uh, accept your um, your unique ability, then I do believe that you can do wonders for the future. Now remember, it takes time uh, to build up confidence, but I know that it is uh, possible to achieve.